So learn how to study your husband. Even, you know, even throughout the years. Maybe it's fresh, maybe it's later. Learn how to study your husband. See, really look at what he likes. We expect for men to just woo us all the time. And to just, oh, this is what I like. This is what I like. Yes, he should do that. He woo you, he got you. But men, they don't really express their emotional, not too many. It's some that do and it's some that don't. But they do have an emotional side. They do like to be loved. They do like to be... They do like the peppering. I'm telling you, they like for you to cook a good meal. Married ladies, come and some and, and save the woman of God. Stop being afraid to, you know, be with your husband and show him love. We had this thing where we feel like we can't sit next to him in church because people are going to be thinking, oh, we know that's your husband. Who cares? Yeah, this is my husband and I'm going to show affection to my husband because it's my husband. <laughs> it's not about I'm insecure or... I don't want nobody else getting at him. It's the fact that this is my husband and I'm supposed to show love to my husband. <laughs> so, you know, we get this thing where we act like we're scared to touch him and scared to acknowledge him and this and the other. Or we even get home and mm, don't touch me here, this and the other. I'm, I'm feeling this way. You better get it together. I had to pull the ponytail back. <laughs> get it together. Like, for real. Get your mind right. That's your husband. God has given him to you. Iron out your problems. You know, think about all the good things. You know, think about what if he wasn't here? What if he would go today or tomorrow? You know, where really where would where would where would you be at? Respect your husband. Love your husband. Look at the things that he do to really show you he loves you. Because if you're looking for one thing and you're looking to mirror somebody else's relationship, oh, he writes her poems. You know, she told me he got in a tux, went to my job, went to her job, brought her dinner that he cooked. I can't even get you to, you're wrong. You don't throw another man up in another, in another man's face. As soon as he sit up there and says, see, now she wears heels for her man. Don't kill wear me no no all the money. Oh my goodness, Shaquita, do you know what he did? Oh my goodness, Becky, do you know what he did? He you would be hot. We need to stop thinking that men are so hard that we can say whatever we want to say and and like that their feelings don't matter. It's not cool. Some men will lay you out and some most men, you know, are just really quiet and might sit back and be like, you know, okay, but it hurts. And a man can disconnect himself. He'll be buying you flowers and here with you one day and the next day you'll get a Dear John letter like, boom, why wouldn't the world happen? Because they retract and inwardly they just shut down. And when they shut down, just like they say when a woman's fed up, no, when a man shut down, he's shut down. He can operate just like you not even know what's going on. Hey honey, look, look. flowers, dinner, because he's just giving you what you want. You know, don't be telling him. It's nothing wrong to discuss with things that you like. And a good man will say, oh, I know that she likes this. And he will do those type of things. But don't be beating him up because every Saturday he didn't take you somewhere. You would never know. He might not have had the fun. He might not have had the, you know, he probably had something else planned. Look at him. Figure out things that he liked too. This is a lifetime thing. Marriage is no joke. Do things to spice it up do things to you know just love on one another um just love just love 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 on one another take time out to take dates and you got to do it once a month you need that you need that when you have ministry when you have children when you have just life period work you need to you need that connection huh? sorry you need that connection with each other you just have to do it it's no if ands or buts about it you have to you have to make just like you make time out for everything else and you make time out for your other friends and stuff you have to make time out for you you have to have that date night you have to and you have to get it in after the date night. Don't just have the date night and be like, oh, I'm tired. No, get it in. Get you a nice lingerie. Instead of buying that, you know, weave. 
take money off that weave to get you a nice lingerie or something. Have have do something spontaneous like every two months or three months we'll do something where we get each other a little gift. Do a, a limit, ten dollars, seven dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever your budget can afford. We exchange gifts and have a date night on this night. Make it exciting. Make it fun. Get with other couples. And that you draw strength from that too. But together, do something. Because you don't want to feel like you lost yourself to your kids or to work. Because so many people that put so much into their kids. And when their kids move and gone, they're like, who is this person that I've been with? Women, don't lose yourself. Keep yourself spiced up. I know that it's a lot with working, coming home with the kids, and if you have to pay somebody else to do your hair. Go ahead. If you have to go to the mat counter or Lancome or wherever and get your face made up just to just to make yourself look good, you know, do it. If you have to go to Walmart and get a couple shirts, I got this shirt from Walmart, Dollar Store. It's not as a female, you can look cute for cheap. It doesn't take that much nowadays to look cute with not a lot of money. Do things that make you feel good. When you feel good, when you feel beautiful about yourself, you're much more happy. You feel more confident with your husband, with yourself, period. You just feel good. Take time out for yourself, too. Allow each other. Honey, I'm going to give you this day without the kids. And where you just go out with your guy friends or you just relax. I'll have the kids. I'll hold them back. Even if you just want to be in the den or in the living room. I'll do something with them. I'll take them out. You have your time. You have to allow each other your time. Okay, husbands, of course. Honey, you go out. You you do something. Here, I'm going to give you some money to go out. Go with your friends or something like that. I, I surprise you with a spa day. I'll take the kids. Do that for each other. Sit down. Plan it out. Write it out. Just like you have your year and, you know, you plan things with the family. Say, boom. We have to obligate this day once a month i don't care what it is we're we're not breaking it because first of all we're in this together for life we can't break this day this is more important than a job god is first then it's my husband okay we have to set aside time for prayer we have to set aside time for god next to god is your relationship and your marriage we cannot break these dates that we have under no circumstances we have to call in a month in advance for babysitters, then so be it. If we can't do it at night and somebody can watch them during the day, then we'll just exchange our time. It's something, if we have to pay somebody that we trust, grandma, somebody, and kick out that extra money so we can have our time, you know, one weekend every three months, just us where we're gone, pay somebody to watch the kids, put the money away, to do it you have to make time you have to do it for each other okay and um you know we have to just bring family back y'all we have to let's not just see it in the movies and you know and stuff like that it the head it, it starts from the head it starts from the parents you know and and your children are watching you are setting the tone for their marriages woman you're showing your wife you're showing your little kids your little daughters, how a woman should treat her husband. You're showing your sons what type of woman they should have. Okay? Your son should admire and want somebody like his mom. Wow, mom don't lay daddy out. I don't hear them fussing and cussing each other out. I rarely see them argue. I know they have their differences, you know, but the way she handles it, the way they handle it is like crazy. It's such a blessing. And your daughters won't be tolerating just any foolishness. Your daughter won't be walking around rolling her neck and laying people out. And she's going to choose a good man because she's going to see those qualities within you. She's going to see how you talk to your husband. She's going to see how you talk to other people. Not talking about people saying, mm, look at her shoes. Then you get little smart daughters saying, mm, look at her. We have to set the tone as women of God, as mothers, as daughters. You know, we have to be examples, point blank. So, I love you. I pray that, you know, someone was in carriage. And I was even in carriage myself. There's some things that I'm going to set down and plan and do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, I love you all. Be blessed.